All right, guys, this is the Blank Pain Sprint Series. And once again, I'm driving the Ford GT in a, in a series that only favors the Mercedes. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to check the forums. If you're not driving a Mercedes here, you're not going to win the race. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I figured out a setup for this car that makes me comfortable in the car. And that's, that's a challenge for me because it's the first time I've ever done any kind of setup on a car. So I'm pretty comfortable with the setup in here. Uh, it's for me three seconds faster than the default um, but it's still much much slower than the Mercedes the Mercedes are getting 143s and I'm getting between 146 and 147s so oh it's gonna be a challenging race I don't exp expect to finish above the uh, the bottom third uh, with all the Mercedes in front of me and there's a Ferrari and some other guys so there's some faster people ahead of me I expect to finish in the bottom third, but uh, I want to have some fun doing it. So, looking to stay out of trouble and uh, enjoy myself. What the fuck? That looks tough, though. And we got anger issues already. Yeah, and we got anger issues already. Sean White for you. I am so. If you guys somehow manage to find yourselves behind a Ford GT, keep in mind I got an extended braking distance. All right, Trapper. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Make sure you're dragging your brakes a little bit there, bud. Uh, get some temp in them. Oh boy, this is gonna be funny. Just send it with an internal green flag. There we go. Off and running. Uh, probably until they get the uh, BOP fixed for the well, you are, already. for the blank paint sprint series I am uh, probably not going to be doing this series any longer just because the uh, the only way you can do any good here is to have a Mercedes and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy a car that might eventually get nerfed this guy Mario one on your right I got a ton panel Clear. So I'll wait till they fix it. I'll figure out something else to do. We've got a bunch of them here ahead of us that are really not very good. On your right. Nice work, boss man. You know what that is up front of you, man. That's a free lunch program. Get him clear. Might you get a board of drugs? Wherever I gave a 4x2, I apologize. I race inside to be stupid on me.
Sorry about that, Glenn. I thought I'd get here. It's uh, all good. Thank you. Did a lot of people get DC'd again? I guess the race is over. Another Mercedes not understanding, but it means that people cannot keep up with them. It's actually not slowing me down that much. <laughs> well, car in front of you, Steve. Well, the damage is actually a lot, uh, looks a lot worse than it is. Probably going to hurt me aerodynamically, but it's not affecting my steering at all.
I think I'm catching this guy. Busted up car and all. My top speed looks like it's only hurt by two miles an hour. You can never hit them again, bud. You can never hit them. Good job. Lovely. Keep coming. My time's not that bad compared to what it was. Uh, it's still bad compared to the I let you guy. On your right, still there. There, that's a good job. Thank you, sir. So I could be doing a lot worse with the damage I've got. I mean, going off the road and stopping definitely hurt me, but. One of the things that always hurts me whenever I wreck like that is waiting to make sure all the traffic's gone by and with this oculus I can just turn around and look. What's with everyone's pity? You guys all got black flags or something? Not me, I I got wrecked. All right, just curious because I know I got DC'd. I was wondering if I gave people some black flags. So that's just outrageous right there what happened on my end. Now, see, he's going to get in my draft. And he's going to get up here and try to come around me again. No, actually, I think he's too far back. And it looked like he was in a Mercedes, so I don't know what's slowing him down. He must be using a default setup. I'm pretty damn pleased with the setup I got. Don't spin, don't spin. Thank you.
See, I've got uh, very little wing on my car, so I'm able to slip through the air a little bit better, and he doesn't get as much of a slipstream. Sometimes this race is all about surviving. Surviving means having a car that drives comfortably for your taste. It means staying out of trouble. Obviously with an extended braking distance because of the uh, Ford GT, GT3, cannot brake as quickly as the Mercedes and some of the other cars. So. Plus, I've got uh, lower downforce to try to compete with them. So, I can't help somebody running into the back of me. He must have got a penalty. Well, I'm up to 15th.
Good job. We'll be pitting here in a couple. car is really it's handling perfect I mean definitely I notice that there's arrow messed up because I'm slower by two miles an hour on the straight but everywhere else I can't tell the difference and that was my fastest lap One forty seven, yeah, so I'm not being heavily affected. Somebody's coming up fast though. Looks like a lap car. Somebody who had damage before. I'm gonna let him go by because I don't want to take the chance of him running into me. So if he gets behind me, he can have it. He's close, man. Side. Still there, door. Clear, clear. Thirteenth. Oh, and with that toe, I'm getting really fast. He knows you're coming. Hopping out.
Waiting for that pit warning. Wonder if I can pull a top 10 out of my ass. Come on man, hustle around your pit, hit this time. I got, I'm gonna do one more lap. Let's try one. Was that a squeaker? Let's do this. Start looking for your sign. I'm looking. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, fuel Stop only. On the sign. Fuel only. Or 28 seconds of repairs. Man, I'm in the wrong gear. I'm an idiot. How much did that just cost me? Right side. Go there. Yeah, Blake going in the pit. Oh, 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 don't do this, don't do this. Oh, God. That would have been awful. <laughs>
Nice pad. The lab car, I'm talking to him now. I just can't believe how well this car is handling with all that damage up there. I guess whenever I got hit, going out into the grass, just kind of uh, caused the wheel to jump up into the bodywork there, and that's what I'm seeing, because there's nothing wrong with the steering. I'm not feeling any difference in the braking. Matter of fact, the braking might actually be better. And when I can catch a draft, it's gonna pull me on, pull me along a little bit faster. If you're gonna let me by, let me know so I don't run in the back of you. I think I just figured out I might have been taking that turn wrong all along and I just figured out the right way to do it. Sometimes you do those things and you feel like a chump, but it's all part of experience. James, go on by, this car's hurt. Yeah, mine is too, man, I've been trying. Right side, looks clear, clear, clear. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, what the hell was that, buddy? Sorry. This is Rick McCart. Feels like the track has changed a little bit. I can go faster. When I set up this car, I was able to get into the 145s, just barely. Um, but it was cold temperatures. 
so I don't know if the temperature. One lap, why the lead lap car is on. Sorry, man, got a little loose. Lap 21. Lap 21. Almost done. Four more laps, I think. Probably about four. Oh, that arrow is going to be affecting my fuel mileage. Hope I've got enough to make it. Well, I feel like I'd be higher if I hadn't bot botched my pit stop. The, um, the accident caused me a little bit of trouble, but I think the pit stop cost me more time. First of all, uh, slowing down too early for the pits, and then uh, being in the wrong gear setting off. So, yeah, all mistakes that were my fault. So. Don't get nervous, run even on the same lap. There you go. On your right, clear, I need it. Thanks, AJ. It's been a surprising race, honestly. I really didn't expect to finish where I am, especially not after that wreck. 27 cars in the field to start, and I'm in 15th now. Started 20th, so yeah. The setup seems to get better over time. Anybody that's looking for this setup for the GT, can't guarantee it'll work for you, but I like it. First one I've ever done. I'll share it on uh, Setup Sync. If you don't have Setup Sync, you should download it and share as many setups as you can. Let's get some more Ford GT drivers in this race. Because eventually, they're going to fix the BOP. And those Mercedes won't be as strong as they are now. Maybe it'll level the playing field a little bit. Ford GT might still be outdated, but it's still got a little kick in it. You're probably one of the most idiotic people ever. Why do you complain so much, Christian? I'm getting under the ferry contact and I've been wrecked up by you for dumbass moves. I gotta say stuff I wanna say.
Last lap. I think I'm looking pretty good on fuel too. I was expecting a 24 lap race and we're on lap 23. <laughs> As long as that uh, arrow damage up there didn't cause any problems, should be good to go. Sorry about that four up standing around. Be careful getting in the road there. Alright, Mike. I had brakes two one and then two two I didn't. Oh good, no, I'm not out. Thanks for keeping it clean. That was a good way battle. I was enjoying it, actually. Kind of rare in GT3. Definitely is. I was actually um, quite happy to let you pass and see if I could do a swing set on the last lap. Yeah, I think I took some arrow damage because it slowed me up a couple turns. Okay, okay, All right. I can see you stuff some of that, guys. Right, let's go hard drive, man. Keep your head up. All right, guys. Well, this is the part of the uh, race where I drive back around to the pits because I like full immersion. And that's what they do in real life. they got to drive around to the pits. Well, they may not have to drive the whole track, but they, uh, they definitely have to go back to the pits. Um... Like I said, I will be selling, uh, selling, ah, I'll be sharing this setup on uh, Setup Sync if anybody's interested in having a look at it. And uh, if you can find a way to improve it, maybe share that to the Setup Sync as well so that other people can start racing this car. There's uh, not much time left in this season, but this is the first race I've done. Uh, I'm, I shouldn't say season, I should say week. Not much time left in this race week. But this is the first race I've done. Uh, just mainly been trying to improve the setup. And guys, it feels good. Especially being my first setup that I've done on my own. So, give it a go. See how you like it. And just be advised that there is an extended braking period. Because there is a low downforce on it. Very low. Alright, catch you guys later. 15th, not a bad result for, uh, for where I was. See ya.